Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our toddler sing-along jam. My name is Miss Ashley. I'm a librarian with the San Mateo County Libraries. You may recognize me from the Pacifica Libraries. I hope you all had a chance to check out Ricardo's Open Labs right before me. He does an amazing job uh, with creating science experiments that you can do at home with stuff in your house. And he also has some beautiful plants. So I hope you'll check that out at three o'clock on Wednesdays and again on Fridays when he does the same program in Spanish. So we're going to get started with our sing-along jam. And as usual, we're going to take just a few minutes to gather up some supplies. So if this is your first time watching this program, uh, if you could go find some kind of cloth, or it could even be like a paper napkin or a tissue, uh, dish rag, blankie, anything you have in your house that you can throw up in the air and catch like that, that's going to be for our scarf songs. In the library, we like to do songs with these beautiful, filmy, colored scarves, but they don't have that option in our houses, unfortunately. And then at the end, uh, we always do a play along. So if you can find something to make noise with, there are so many options. Um, you might have an actual instrument in your house somewhere, like a drum or a shaker, or even like a ukulele like this. But if you don't, you can get um, something that shakes or something you can bang on. This is a container of dried ginger. Or you can get some paper cups, those are always really fun, like these, you can bang together. Or you can use them like a drum. Or even a box, lots of things make fun drums. Or you can shake some keys. There are so many different ways to go. So we're going to start with our first song, which is called We Bounce and We Bounce and We Stop. This is a great song. It's kind of like a freeze game song if you've ever done one of those. You have to really listen. Here we go. Ready to bounce? We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and 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 we stop. Maybe with the stop, let's try it again. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and 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 we stop. Great job. Can you clap? I'm gonna keep playing. You can clap your hands. We clap, we clap, we stop. We clap, we clap, we clap, stop. We clap, we clap, we clap, we clap, we clap, we clap, we stop. Great. How about let's turn? We turn, we turn, we stop. We turn, we turn, we stop. We turn, we turn, we turn, we turn, we turn, we turn, we stop. How about let's turn the other way? Don't get dizzy. We turn, we turn, we stop. We turn, we turn, we stop. We turn, 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 we stop. How about let's nod? We nod, we nod, we stop. We nod, we nod, we stop. We nod, we nod, we nod, we nod, we nod, we nod, we stop. And now let's tickle. You can tickle yourself or your brother or sister or your grown up if they'll let you. We tickle, we tickle, we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we stop. Let's do a more active one. Let's run in place. We run, we run, we stop. We run, we run, we stop. We run, we run, we run, we run, we run, we run, we stop. How about this hug? Aw, you can hug yourself or your grown up or your stuffed animal. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we hug. And let's bounce one more time really fast. Here we go. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Great. Bouncing and listening. Okay. My first song is a request from my friend Maddie. It's a song that I'd like to do a lot in story times. And usually, I have puppets that I use to hand out to the kids. So we always start with a kitty. The song's called Fiddle Ify. It's an old traditional song. And it goes like this. I had a cat and the cat pleased me and I fed my cat under yonder tree and the cat went fiddle Ify. Now we know cats don't really go fiddle Ify, but in this song they do. But we also have a dog. This is Woofy. You might remember Woofy. 
What do you think Wolfie says? Can you say hi to Wolfie and Dog? He's listening. Ruff! Did you like that, Wolfie? Ooh, I don't know what you said, but Wolfie liked that a lot. Let's say it again. Woof! <gasps> Yay! All right, let's add Wolfie to our song. I had a dog and the dog pleased me and I fed my dog under yonder tree and the dog went woof, woof, and the cat went fiddle our fee. And now I have a frog. Okay, my cat actually makes noise. I always figured it up that it scares me a little. Here is a frog. What's a frog say? Ribbit. <laughs> I had a frog and the frog pleased me and I fed my frog into yonder tree. And the frog went ribbit, ribbit. And the dog went woof, woof. And the cat went fiddle life fee. This cat wants to make all kinds of noises besides the life fee, which is very funny. And now I have Alice the alligator. She's not wearing her festive bow today. But she likes to go chomp, chomp. Uh oh, she's coming to the camera. Oh, come back here, Alice. Here we go. Can you chomp, chomp? I had an alligator, and the alligator pleased me, and I fed my alligator under yonder tree, and the alligator went chomp, chomp, and the frog went ribbit, ribbit, and the dog went woof, woof, and the cat went fiddle I fee. All right, my last animal is a special guest. This is my friend Komodo. She's a live animal. She is a bearded dragon. We've had her in our family for a long time, and she's very sweet. If you look, the reason she's called a bearded dragon or a beardy is because she has this part under her chin, and when she's happy, it's an orange color. When she's mad or scared, it turns black. But we can tell she's in a pretty good mood right now. Uh, Komodo and other beardies, they don't make it. They are the quietest pet you can possibly have. So let's sing our last verse very quietly for Komodo. I had a beardy and the beardy pleased me and I fed my beardy under yonder tree and the beardy went shh, shh. And the alligator went chomp, chomp. And the frog went ribbit, ribbit. And the dog went woof, woof. And the cat went fiddle life All right. That cat is so loud. Okay. Let's say bye-bye to Komodo. She's a very sweet. She likes to cling to my shirt. She's got these long claws. There we go. It's time for our first book. So I'm going to share my first book. And it's a kind of a nursery rhyme that you may be familiar with. And this is from one of our ebook collections that you can get to with your library card on smcl.org. This uh, collection is called Overdrive. And this book is called There Was an Old Woman Who Lived in a Shoe by Jane Cabrera and published by Holiday House. Um, this book, I'm reading it um, partly because uh, Sunday is Mother's Day. So we want to do a lot of books and songs to celebrate all the moms out there and everyone else who helps take care of us. I hope you take a moment to say thank you to all of them. Here we go. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. My book. No, it's not going to work that way. I'll do it this way. Look at all their shoes. Would you like to live in a shoe? It would be pretty stinky. I don't know about you. But there's our old woman. She looks very sweet. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. Like the sign says, for sale, giant's old shoe. I guess it must have been a very big giant. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children and animals, too. There she is. Look at all the tools she carries around in her pocket. Bertha, Martha, Sky. And Bob, Eric, Edith, Esme, Pop, John, Shane, Jack, and Jill, Kai, Rosa, and Baby Bill. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe, and when the children were hungry, can you rub your tummy? 
She made them. What do you think she made them? Something that rhymes with shoe, I bet. Ooh, that's something in the pot. What do you think it is? A stew with potatoes and coconut and carrots and peas. And she kissed them all lovingly when they said, more please. Now let's kiss them, throw, blow a kiss. Mwah. Oh dear, what's happening here? Everybody looks a little worried. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe and when the car broke down, even the car is a shoe, they rode a new, or a good new, that's a big animal with four legs. They all held tight, sitting side by side, and she kissed them all lovingly at the end of the ride. Can you blow another kiss? Mwah. There's that new, he's carrying so many people. Look at this kitty up in the tree. Her dress looks a little torn. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe, and when the clothes got tatty, that means they're worn out, she'd mend and make do. Can you sew with the imaginary needle? What fabulous clothes, such colorful cloth, and she kissed them all lovingly when they showed them off. Can you blow a kiss again? Look, the kitty's dress is all fixed. Hmm, well, the old woman looks a little worried here. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe and when the furniture broke, oh no, look at the couch. She stuck it with glue and hammered and hammer and nailed and screwed here and there. And she kissed them all lovingly from her wobbly chair. I think her chair might need some glue too. There she is again. The old little girl hiding behind her. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe and some days were just a big hullabaloo. Can you make a hullabaloo? Ah! I'm sure you never do that in your house. So much noise. What a messy muddle. But all was made better by a big soft. Wow, look at this hullabaloo. We've got fighting and rope and cartwheels and painting and music cuddle. Aww. And she says, I love you. And give yourself a hug or give your grown-up your a hug. And say, I love you. And that's, there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. We're going to do a song where we get to say I love you. This is a song you could sing to your mom on Mother's Day or to the other grown-ups in your life that you love. Maybe to your grandparents over FaceTime or Zoom or on the phone. So we're going to say, I love you. And this song has a very silly title. It's called Skin of a Rink, a Dink, a Dink. And it's by Felix F. Feist and Al Piantadozzi. Now it goes like this. Skin of a rink, a dink, a dink, skin of a rink, a do. I love you. Skid a marink a dink a dink, skid a marink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skid a marink a dink a dink, skid a marink a do. I love you. Let's try that again a little bit faster. Are you ready? Skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do. I love you. Skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. No, skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do. I love you. Yay! So you can sing that to your mom or dad or grandma, or grandpa. And now it's time for our scarf song. So everybody get out whatever kind of cloth you found or a paper napkin. And this is another nursery rhyme like there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. This one's called London Bridge. So we're going to make London Bridge goes falling down. You can throw your cloth up in the air and catch it. Here we go. London Bridge is falling down, 
falling down, falling down, London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Can you do that with me again? Here we go. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down, London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Now we're going to build it up like this. Build it up with sticks and stones, sticks and stones, sticks and stones. Build it up with sticks and stones, my fair lady. Now let's make it fall down again. Here we go. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Build it up with sticks and stones, sticks and stones, sticks and stones. Build it up with sticks and stones, my fair lady. Let's make it fall down one more time. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Great job. Well, that old woman who lived in a shoe book reminded me of our wishy-washy washerwoman song. And I'm sure the old woman who lived in a shoe had to do lots of laundry. So the wishy-washy washerwoman washer goes like this. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Here we go. Way down in the valley where nobody goes, there's a wishy-washy washerwoman washing her clothes. She goes, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And that's how the wishy-washy washerwoman washes her clothes. Now she's going to dry her clothes like this. <sighs> Way down in the valley where nobody goes, there's a wishy-washy washerwoman drying her clothes. She goes. <sighs> and that's how the wishy-washy washerwoman dries her clothes. And now she's gonna fold her clothes like this. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Way down in the valley where nobody comes there. So wish she washed, she washed her woman and fold in her clothes. She goes, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And that's how the wish she washed, she washed her woman and folds her clothes. Now she's gonna wear her clothes like this. Ooh. Way down in the valley where nobody goes there. So wishy washy washer woman wearing her clothes. She goes, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And that's how the wishy washy washer woman wears her clothes. Yay! You could help your grown up wash the clothes, put them in the washing machine or the dryer, or sort them into piles. That would be a wonderful thing to do on Mother's Day for your grown up. So now we're going to share one more book about a very patient mother. This one is called Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. You probably know this rhyme. It was taken and extended by Eileen Cristolo, and this book was published by Clarion Books. It's on another collection we have called Access 360 on smcl.org. So here we go. You can say the rhyme along with me when we get to that part. Yeah. It was bedtime. So five little monkeys took a bath. Five little monkeys put on their pajamas. Five little monkeys brushed their teeth. Five little monkeys said good night to their mama. Then Five little monkeys <gasps> jumped on the bed. I know you never jump on the bed, do you? One fell off and bumped his head. Ow! The mama called the doctor. The doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Look at this one. He's got this thing on his head. Oh. Oh boy, how many monkeys are left? One, two, three, four. Uh oh, what do you think they're gonna do? Four little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Oh! Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, 
No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, we got two all bandaged up here. Oh, but there are three monkeys left. What are they doing? Yep. So three little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Ow! The mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. I think this doctor's getting a little frustrated. She looks a little upset. So two little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off, ow, and bumped his head. The mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh dear, there's only one monkey left. Surely she's not gonna jump on the bed. What do you think? So one little monkey jumped on the bed. She fell off and bumped her head, ow. The mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So five little monkeys fell fast asleep. You snore. Thank goodness, said the mama. Oh, I can go to bed. Now like the mama's jumping on the bed. You think? Your grown-ups jump on the bed? I doubt it. But you never know. That was Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed by Eileen Cristolo. Okay, we're down to our last couple of songs, and it's time for our instrument play-along. So get out whatever you found to make noise with. We're going to do a song that fits in perfectly with our Mother's Day theme. It's called Baby Beluga by Rafi. Uh, it's, uh, Beluga is a white whale, and this song was requested by my friend Gabriel. So everybody get ready to play along with me with whatever instruments you found. Sounds like this. Baby Beluga in the deep blue sea swims so wild and he swims so free Heaven above materials that you might have in your house. And so today, since we've got Mother's Day coming up, I have a way to make hearts out of something that you probably have lying around. I don't know if you can see these little hearts that I stamped on the page. And I used one of these. Yes, toilet paper. It's like gold these days. But this is like toilet paper roll. You can use a paper towel roll. And all you do this kind of, you might need your grown-ups help with this part, but you kind of squish it in. Let me put this down. I'm going to squish it in a little bit to make a point in the middle and then kind of flatten it out. You kind of play around with it. You can make other shapes too and you can definitely make a, a circle shape. And then once you have this, this kind of a stamp that you made, 
You can take some paint if you have paint around. Paint it. It's a little messy. Make sure you ask your grown up and make sure you help clean up when you're done. Uh, and then once you get your paint, you can dip your paper towel heart shape into the paint and then stamp it on the paper. It didn't work out quite as well as I took, but you can get a little bit more paint on there. I'd have to wiggle it around. The other thing you can do is um, if you have Play-Doh or some other kind of modeling dough, you could use your stamp to make Play-Doh shapes, uh, circles. So I hope you have fun with that. You could use a stamp pad too if you have one. Uh, lots of ways to make stamps. You can even use cookie cutters if you have them. It's time for our last song, which is Freight Train. That's the one we've been ending with for all of our toddler sing-along dance because we can use it to visit any place in the world that we want to go and go see all the people that we miss. So this song was written by Elizabeth Cotton and adapted by Elizabeth Mitchell, who's a modern children's singer. And if you like these Singers, you might check out the Freegal Music uh, collection on SMCL.org. You can download albums that you can play for free. Here we go. Ready? Get on the train. Get your instruments. Freight train, freight train, run so fast. Freight train, freight train, run so fast. Please don't tell a train the monkey so they won't. I'm gonna go visit my parents in Virginia. So I can wish my mom a happy Mother's Day. Going to Virginia, going so fast. Going to Virginia, going so fast. Please don't tell a train of mom so they won't know where I've gone. I'm gonna go visit my friends Maddie and Gabriel here in Pacifica. taking a break for the rest of the day from our staff with programs, but I hope you'll join us tomorrow morning at 1030 for our family story time with Michelle. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you next time. <laughs>